Learn to act as if nothing bothers you. Brian Tracy Today I want to talk to you about a concept that is simple yet profound. A philosophy that can transform the way you approach every challenge, setback, and opportunity in your life. The concept is to learn to act as if nothing bothers you. Now I know what you might be thinking. How can I possibly act as if nothing bothers me when there are so many challenges and problems in my life? That's a fair question. But before we dive into the heart of this philosophy, let me ask you another question. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity, while others seem to crumble under pressure? The difference lies not in the situations they face, but in how they perceive and react to those situations. It's about developing a mindset, a way of thinking and acting that enables you to maintain your composure and clarity of thought, no matter what life throws your way. Let's start by understanding what it means to act as if nothing bothers you. It does not mean being indifferent or uncaring. It does not mean ignoring your problems or pretending they don't exist. Rather, it's about adopting a stance of resilience and poise. It's about facing life's challenges with a calm, confident demeanor, knowing that you have the inner strength to handle whatever comes your way. The first step in learning to act as if nothing bothers you is to cultivate a positive attitude. A positive attitude is like a powerful engine that drives you forward even when the road gets tough. It's about focusing on solutions rather than problems, on opportunities rather than obstacles. But how do you develop a positive attitude? It starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts have incredible power over your emotions and actions. Negative thoughts breed negative emotions, which, in turn, can lead to negative actions. Conversely, positive thoughts lead to positive emotions and actions. So the key is to train your mind to focus on the positive, to look for the good in every situation. Now let's talk about resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. It's about having the mental toughness to persevere even when things don't go as planned. Resilient people don't see setbacks as failures. They see them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become stronger. How do you build resilience? By stepping out of your comfort zone and facing your fears. It's about taking on challenges not because they're easy, but because they're hard. It's about pushing yourself to grow and develop even when it's uncomfortable. Every time you face a challenge and come out on the other side, you build a little more resilience. Building resilience is a valuable skill that empowers individuals to navigate challenges with strength and adaptability. Here are practical exercises to enhance resilience. 1. Reflective journaling. Set aside time each day for reflective journaling. Write about challenges faced, emotions experienced, and lessons learned. This practice encourages self-awareness and provides a record of personal growth over time. 2. Gratitude practice. Develop a daily gratitude habit. List three things you are grateful for each day. This simple exercise shifts focus towards positive aspects of life, fostering a resilient mindset even in the face of difficulties. 3. Positive affirmations. Create a set of positive affirmations tailored to personal goals and values. Repeat these affirmations daily, reinforcing a positive self-image and cultivating the belief that challenges are opportunities for growth. 4. Stepping out of comfort zones. Regularly engage in activities that push your comfort zones, whether it's trying a new hobby, speaking in public, or taking on a challenging project. Stepping into discomfort builds resilience by teaching that growth often happens beyond familiar boundaries. 5. Mindfulness Meditation Practice mindfulness meditation to cultivate present moment awareness. Start with short sessions, gradually extending the duration. This exercise enhances emotional regulation and provides a mental anchor during stressful situations. 6. Resilience Role Models Identify individuals known for resilience, study their stories and coping mechanisms. Reflect on how their approaches can be applied to personal challenges. Having role models inspires and provides practical strategies. 7. Constructive self-talk. Monitor internal dialogue during adversity. Replace negative self-talk with constructive affirmations. 
For instance, instead of saying, I can't handle this, shift to, I have overcome challenges before, and I can navigate this one too. 8. Networking and social support. Cultivate a supportive network. Regularly connect with friends, family, or mentors. Share experiences and seek advice. Building a strong support system provides emotional sustenance during tough times. Consistent practice of these exercises strengthens resilience over time, enabling individuals to bounce back from setbacks and face life's uncertainties with greater fortitude. Another critical aspect of acting as if nothing bothers you is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. It's about being aware of how your emotions affect your thoughts and actions, and learning to control them rather than letting them control you. How do you develop emotional intelligence? By practicing self-awareness and self-regulation. Pay attention to your emotions and the triggers that set them off. Learn to pause and reflect before reacting. Ask yourself, is my reaction going to help or hinder my ability to handle this situation? One practical exercise for building emotional intelligence is the emotion journal. Set aside a few minutes each day to reflect on your emotions and experiences. In a journal, record the situations that triggered specific emotions, detailing the circumstances, your reactions, and the subsequent outcomes. Identify patterns and recurring emotional responses. This exercise promotes self-awareness, a foundational component of emotional intelligence. Additionally, practice the three-step process when faced with challenging emotions. 1. Recognize. Acknowledge and label the emotion you are feeling. Identify whether it's anger, sadness, joy, or any other emotion. 2. Understand. Explore the underlying reasons for the emotion. What triggered it? How does it connect to your values or personal history? 3. Manage. Develop strategies to manage the emotion effectively. This could involve deep breathing, taking a brief break, or reframing your perspective. Regularly engaging in these exercises enhances emotional self-awareness, empathy, and self-regulation. Key components of emotional intelligence. Over time, you'll find yourself better equipped to navigate complex social situations, understand others' perspectives, and respond to challenges with greater emotional resilience. Next, let's talk about the power of perspective. Your perspective, how you view a situation, has a profound impact on how you react to it. Two people can face the same challenge and have completely different reactions based solely on their perspective. To adopt a perspective that helps you act as if nothing bothers you, try to see the bigger picture. Ask yourself, in the grand scheme of things, how important is this issue? Will it matter a week, a month, or a year from now? By putting things in perspective, you can reduce their power to upset or bother you. Finally, let's talk about the importance of taking action. Action is the antidote to fear and uncertainty. When you take action, you take control. You move from being a passive victim of circumstances to an active participant in shaping your own destiny. But what kind of action should you take? Start with small, manageable steps. Break down big challenges into smaller, more manageable tasks. Focus on what you can do right now, in this moment, to move closer to your goals. So I challenge you to start practicing these principles today. Cultivate a positive attitude, build your resilience, develop your emotional intelligence, gain perspective, and take action. Remember, it's not the challenges you face that define you, but how you choose to face them. As we continue our exploration of the powerful concept of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's delve deeper into practical strategies and real-life applications of this philosophy. Now you might wonder, how can I consistently maintain this mindset in the face of real-world challenges? This is where the principle of habit formation comes into play. Our actions and reactions are often the result of deeply ingrained habits. To act as if nothing bothers you, you need to develop new habits that support this mindset. Let's talk about the habit of proactive problem solving. When faced with a problem, instead of reacting emotionally, train yourself to approach it systematically. 
Ask yourself, what is the root cause of this problem? Once you identify it, brainstorm possible solutions, weigh the pros and cons of each solution, and choose the best course of action. By adopting a problem-solving approach, you shift your focus from being bothered by the problem to actively addressing it. Another habit to cultivate is the habit of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can instantly shift your perspective. When you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or bothered, pause for a moment and think of three things you are grateful for. This simple exercise can transform your mindset and help you approach situations with a more positive and balanced perspective. Now let's talk about the power of communication. Effective communication is key to ensuring that external factors do not disturb your inner peace. When you're faced with a challenging situation involving others, communicate clearly and assertively. Express your thoughts and feelings honestly but with respect and empathy for the other person's perspective. This approach not only helps in resolving conflicts but also strengthens relationships, making it easier for you to maintain your composure in future interactions. Furthermore, let's not underestimate the importance of self-care in our ability to remain unbothered by external circumstances. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, a healthy diet, and mindfulness practices like meditation can greatly enhance your physical and mental resilience. When you take care of yourself, you strengthen your ability to stay calm and composed in the face of challenges. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever faced a situation that seemed insurmountable at the time, but in hindsight, turned out to be a valuable learning experience? Reflecting on such experiences can reinforce your belief in your ability to handle challenges. Remember, every challenge you've overcome in the past is proof of your resilience and capability. Incorporating these practices into your daily life won't happen overnight. It requires commitment and consistency, but the rewards are immense. By cultivating these habits, you not only learn to act as if nothing bothers you, but you also develop true inner strength and peace. I encourage each of you to start applying these principles in your life. Remember, the greatest power you have is the power to choose your response to any situation. Choose to be unbothered. Choose to be a positive force in your own life and in the lives of those around you. Let's go forward with confidence and courage ready to face the world with the conviction that nothing can truly bother us unless we allow it to. Thank you, and I wish you all the success and happiness in your journey ahead. As we continue our journey through the empowering philosophy of acting as if nothing bothers you, let's now turn our attention to some more nuanced aspects of this concept. Aspects that can have a profound impact on your personal and professional life. At this point, you might be wondering how can I sustain this mindset in the long term? The key lies in building resilience, not just as a temporary coping mechanism, but as a fundamental part of your character. Let's explore the idea of emotional resilience. This goes beyond merely handling immediate problems or setbacks. Emotional resilience is about developing a deep, enduring strength that comes from within. It involves understanding and accepting your emotions, but not being controlled or overwhelmed by them. How do you develop emotional resilience? It begins with self-awareness. Be honest with yourself about your feelings and reactions. When you're upset or bothered, ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? What is this emotion telling me? Understanding the root cause of your emotions is the first step in managing them effectively. Another aspect of emotional resilience is the ability to recover from setbacks. Life will inevitably throw challenges your way. This is a reality we all face. The question is not whether you will encounter difficulties, but how you will respond. Will you allow these challenges to defeat you, or will you use them as stepping stones to grow stronger and more resilient? To build this kind of resilience, you need to develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It's about embracing challenges, persisting in the face of setbacks, learning from criticism, and finding lessons and inspiration in the success of others. With a growth mindset, every challenge becomes an opportunity to learn and improve. Now let's delve into the importance of setting and pursuing meaningful goals. 
Goals give you a sense of direction and purpose. They keep you focused and motivated, especially when things get tough. But it's not just about setting goals. It's about setting the right goals. Goals that are aligned with your values and your deepest desires. How do you set meaningful goals? Start by asking yourself what you truly want in life. What are your passions? What makes you feel fulfilled and happy? Your goals should be a reflection of these inner desires. They should be challenging enough to stretch you but realistic enough to be achievable. Once you've set your goals, develop a plan to achieve them. Break down each goal into smaller manageable tasks. Create a timeline and set deadlines for each task. And most importantly, take consistent action. Remember, a goal without action is just a dream. Finally, let's talk about the power of positive relationships. The people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your ability to remain unbothered by life's challenges. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who believe in you and your goals. These relationships can provide encouragement, inspiration, and practical help when you need it. In building positive relationships, communication is key. Be open and honest in your interactions. Listen actively to others, show empathy and understanding, and provide support when they need it. Positive relationships are a two-way street. They require effort and commitment from both sides. Building positive relationships is a crucial aspect of personal and professional well-being. Positive relationships contribute to emotional resilience, enhanced communication skills, and a support network that can uplift you during challenging times. Here are practical exercises and tips to help you foster positive relationships. 1. Active listening practice. Exercise. Choose a conversation partner, whether a friend, family member, or colleague. Practice active listening by giving your full attention, making eye contact, and nodding to show understanding. Avoid interrupting and refrain from formulating your response while the other person is speaking. Afterward, reflect on the impact of active listening on your understanding of the other person's perspective. 2. Empathy Building Exercise Engage in perspective-taking exercises. Choose a scenario where someone may have a different viewpoint. Try to understand their feelings, motivations, and challenges. This could involve reading literature from diverse perspectives or discussing current events from various angles. Reflect on how this exercise enhances your capacity for empathy. 3. Gratitude Expression Exercise Express gratitude to someone in your life. It could be a handwritten note, a sincere email, or a verbal acknowledgement. Be specific about what you appreciate and how it has positively impacted you. Observe the recipient's response and the subsequent impact on your relationship. 4. Conflict Resolution Simulation Exercise. Simulate a conflict resolution scenario. Enlist the help of a friend or family member and create a hypothetical disagreement. Practice resolving the conflict calmly and assertively, using I statements to express your feelings and concerns. Reflect on the effectiveness of your communication in reaching a resolution. 5. Quality Time Commitment Exercise Choose a significant relationship in your life and commit to spending quality time together. This could be a weekly coffee date, a monthly outing, or a shared hobby. During these moments, focus on being present and engage. Reflect on how consistent quality time strengthens the connection. 6. Feedback Exchange Exercise Initiate a constructive feedback exchange with a trusted individual. Share your appreciation for their strengths and contributions, and ask for feedback on areas where you can improve. Practice receiving feedback with an open mind and gratitude. Reflect on how this mutual exchange fosters trust and understanding. 7. Shared Goals and Activities Exercise. Identify shared goals or interests with someone in your life. Collaborate on a project. Take up a new hobby together or set mutual personal development goals. Working towards common objectives strengthens the bond and provides a shared sense of accomplishment. 8. Positivity Challenge Exercise Challenge yourself to focus on the positive aspects of your relationships for a week. Keep a gratitude journal specifically dedicated to acknowledging positive interactions. 
Share your observations with the people involved and express gratitude for their positive impact on your life. 9. Relationship Vision Board Exercise Create a relationship vision board. Use visuals and words to represent the qualities and dynamics you aspire to have in your relationships. Display it in a visible place as a reminder of your commitment to fostering positive connections. 10. Social Engagement Experiment Exercise Experiment with expanding your social circle. Attend a networking event, join a club, or participate in community activities. Initiate conversations with new people and practice building connections. Reflect on how this broadens your perspective and enriches your social experiences. Remember, building positive relationships is an ongoing process that requires time, effort, and authenticity. Consistently applying these exercises will contribute to a more fulfilling and supportive social environment. Remember, the journey to acting as if nothing bothers you is a journey of personal growth and development. It's a journey that requires patience, perseverance, and a positive attitude, but it's a journey that is well worth undertaking. Move forth with the confidence and conviction that you have the strength and resilience to handle anything life throws your way. Remember, you have the power to choose your response to any situation. Choose to be unbothered. Choose to be a positive force in your own life and in the lives of those around you. Let's continue to learn, grow, and develop ourselves in every aspect of our lives. Remember, the greatest power lies within you. The power to choose your attitude, your reactions, and your path in life. The art of maintaining composure and resilience in the face of life's challenges is not just a skill but a way of life. Let's explore more facets of this philosophy. One significant aspect of acting as if nothing bothers you is the art of prioritization. In a world teeming with demands and distractions, understanding what truly matters is crucial. Prioritization is about recognizing the value of your time and energy and focusing these precious resources on what's most important. How do you master prioritization? Start by identifying your core values and goals. What are the principles that guide your life? What are the objectives you're striving to achieve? Once these are clear, evaluate your daily activities. Ask yourself, does this align with my values? Is this bringing me closer to my goals? This practice helps you to say no to unimportant tasks and yes to actions that enrich your life and bring you closer to your aspirations. Also, mastering prioritization is crucial for maintaining focus and achieving your goals effectively. Here's a practical exercise to help you develop this skill. 1. Define your values and goals. Start by clarifying your core values and long-term goals. Understanding what truly matters to you provides a foundation for effective prioritization. 2. Create a task list. Compile a comprehensive list of tasks and responsibilities. Include both short-term and long-term objectives. This step helps you gain a clear overview of your commitments. 3. Categorize tasks. Divide your tasks into categories such as urgent, important, non-urgent, and non-important. This classification will aid in distinguishing between tasks that require immediate attention and those that can be addressed later. 4. Evaluate impact and alignment. Assess the impact of each task on your goals and values. Identify tasks that align closely with your objectives and contribute significantly to your long-term vision. 5. Prioritize. Prioritize tasks based on their importance and alignment with your goals. Focus on high-impact, high-priority items that bring you closer to your objectives. 6. Use prioritization tools. Explore prioritization tools like the Eisenhower Matrix or the ABCD method. These frameworks provide additional structure for evaluating and organizing tasks based on urgency and importance. 7. Commit to your priorities. Once you've identified your priorities, commit to them. Resist the temptation to veer off course by staying dedicated to the tasks that align with your values and contribute significantly to your goals. By consistently practicing this exercise, you'll enhance your ability to prioritize effectively, ensuring that your time and energy are directed towards activities that truly matter in the pursuit of your long-term vision. 
Another critical component is the practice of strategic thinking. This involves looking beyond immediate circumstances and considering the long-term implications of your actions. Strategic thinking allows you to navigate life with foresight and wisdom, helping you to remain undisturbed by transient challenges. How can you develop strategic thinking? One way is to regularly set aside time for planning and reflection. Consider potential future scenarios and how your decisions today might affect those outcomes. Learn from past experiences and apply these lessons to your future plans. This approach helps you make decisions that are not just reactive but proactive and considered. Developing strategic thinking is crucial for making informed decisions and navigating challenges effectively. Here's a practical exercise to enhance your strategic thinking skills. Strategic Scenario Analysis 1. Choose a relevant scenario. Select a situation or challenge you're currently facing, either in your personal or professional life. Ensure it's a scenario where strategic thinking can make a significant impact. 2. Identify key components. Break down the scenario into key components, such as goals, resources, stakeholders, and potential obstacles. This could involve creating a mind map or a list to visualize the various elements at play. 3. Future projection. Envision different outcomes based on your current actions and decisions. Consider both short-term and long-term consequences. Imagine the best and worst case scenarios, along with a few variations in between. 4. Risk assessment. Evaluate potential risks and uncertainties associated with each scenario. Identify factors beyond your control and those influenced by your choices. Consider the likelihood and impact of each risk. 5. Alternative strategies. Develop alternative strategies to address the challenges and achieve your goals. Explore different approaches that mitigate risks or capitalize on opportunities. Ensure these strategies align with your overall objectives. 6. Resource allocation. Assess the resources required for each strategy, including time, finances, and personnel. Consider the feasibility and practicality of implementing each approach. 7. Decision-making. Based on your analysis, make an informed decision on the strategy to pursue. Choose the approach that aligns most effectively with your goals while considering potential risks and resource constraints. 8. Implementation Plan. Outline a detailed plan for implementing your chosen strategy. Define specific actions, responsibilities, and timelines. This plan serves as a roadmap for executing your strategic decisions. 9. Monitor and adapt. Regularly review your strategic plan. Monitor progress, evaluate outcomes, and be open to adapting your strategy based on evolving circumstances. This ongoing evaluation enhances your ability to think strategically over time. 10. Reflect and learn. After the scenario unfolds, reflect on the outcomes. Assess what worked well, what could be improved, and the lessons learned. This reflection process contributes to continuous improvement in your strategic thinking skills. By actively engaging in strategic scenario analysis, you'll develop a practical understanding of strategic thinking and enhance your ability to make well-informed decisions in various aspects of your life. Additionally, let's consider the role of physical fitness in your ability to stay composed and unbothered. Physical fitness is not just about maintaining a healthy body. It's about nurturing a strong and resilient mind. Regular physical activity can significantly improve your ability to handle stress and maintain mental clarity. How do you incorporate physical fitness into your life? Find an activity that you enjoy and can stick to, whether it's walking, running, swimming, yoga, or a sport. Make it a regular part of your routine, just like eating or sleeping. Remember, the goal is not to become an elite athlete, but to keep your body and mind in harmony. Another important aspect is the concept of mindful living. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the rush of daily life and lose sight of the present moment. Mindful living is about being fully present in each moment, appreciating the simple joys of life, and not getting overwhelmed by past regrets or future anxieties. How can you practice mindful living? 
Start by incorporating small moments of mindfulness into your day. This could be as simple as taking a few deep breaths, savoring your meals without distractions, or appreciating the beauty of nature around you. Over time, these moments of mindfulness become a powerful tool in maintaining composure and resilience. Now let's explore the role of continuous learning in acting as if nothing bothers you. The world is ever-evolving, and learning is a lifelong journey. Embracing a mindset of continuous learning keeps your mind active, adaptable, and open to new possibilities. How can you foster a culture of continuous learning? Read regularly, explore diverse topics, take up new hobbies, and seek out experiences that challenge your existing beliefs. Engage in conversations with people from different backgrounds and perspectives. This not only broadens your knowledge, but also enhances your ability to navigate diverse situations without being easily bothered. Moreover, let's discuss the significance of adaptability. Life is unpredictable, and the ability to adapt is a key factor in staying unbothered. How do you cultivate adaptability? Embrace change as a natural part of life, rather than resisting it. Be open to new ideas, perspectives, and ways of doing things. Developing a flexible mindset allows you to navigate through life's twists and turns without being thrown off balance. Lastly, let's touch upon the power of self-reflection. Regularly reflecting on your thoughts, actions, and experiences provides valuable insights into your habits and behaviors. How can you incorporate self-reflection into your routine? Set aside dedicated time for introspection. Journaling, meditation, or deep contemplation are effective tools for self-reflection. Ask yourself meaningful questions such as, what did I learn today? How did I handle challenges? What can I do differently tomorrow? This practice enhances your self-awareness and empowers you to make intentional choices that align with your values and goals. Incorporating self-reflection into your routine is a transformative practice that enhances self-awareness and guides intentional personal growth. Here's a practical exercise to cultivate the habit of self-reflection. Begin by setting aside dedicated time each day for introspection. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. This could be in the morning as you start your day or in the evening as you wind down. 1. Journaling Grab a notebook or open a document on your computer dedicated to your reflections. Start by jotting down three things you're grateful for. This sets a positive tone for your reflection and helps you appreciate the positive aspects of your life. 2. Daily Highlights Reflect on the significant events of your day. Identify moments that brought you joy, challenged you, or provided valuable insights. Consider how you responded to challenges and whether there are patterns in your reactions. 3. Challenges and Learnings Write about any challenges you encountered during the day. Explore how you handled them and what you learned from those experiences. Reflect on whether there are alternative ways to approach similar situations in the future. 4. Emotional Check-In Assess your emotional state. Identify the emotions you experienced throughout the day and delve into the reasons behind them. Recognizing your emotional patterns allows you to respond more consciously in the future. 5. Goal Alignment Review your short-term and long-term goals. Assess whether your actions and decisions align with these goals. If there's a misalignment, explore ways to adjust your daily choices to better support your aspirations. 6. Self-improvement Conclude your reflection by identifying one aspect of yourself you'd like to improve. It could be a behavior, a reaction, or a habit. Outline a small, actionable step you can take to work towards positive change. Consistency is key to the effectiveness of this exercise. Make it a daily practice, and over time, you'll find that self-reflection becomes a valuable tool for personal development and maintaining a composed and unbothered mindset. In conclusion, Acting as if nothing bothers you is a holistic approach that encompasses various aspects of your life. Prioritization, strategic thinking, physical fitness, mindful living, continuous learning, adaptability, and self-reflection form the foundation of this empowering philosophy. As you integrate these principles into your daily life, 
Remember that it's not about perfection but progress. Small, consistent steps lead to significant transformations. Choose to be the master of your reactions, the captain of your ship, navigating the seas of life with resilience, wisdom, and an unbothered spirit. Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration and empowerment. May you continue to evolve and thrive, unshaken by the storms and undeterred by the challenges that come your way. Here's to a life lived with purpose, resilience, and the unwavering belief that you can indeed act it as if nothing bothers you. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload another video. Also, comment and share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. You are blessed.